A new high-tech tool is helping future doctors at York Hospital tone their skills. It's called a sim man, and it acts like a real live patient. Photojournalist Steliana Vasileva shows us how these dummies could help them save lives. He went into something called ventricular fibrillation, where his heart's not pumping effectively. <coughs> His whole chest here is full of like motherboards and circuits and all that kind of thing. I feel like I could die. So you can actually just put your fingers right here and feel his pulse. We can make one lung collapse so that there are no breath sounds. His pupils will actually constrict and dilate. No, I'm not allergic to anything. When they first walk in, it seems like a piece of plastic, but then he starts to talk to them and then they start hearing the monitor go off and pretty quickly they get immersed. You can tell when somebody goes from thinking this is a dummy to actually treating it like a person. In the sim lab, we actually uh, want residents and students to make mistakes because here, uh, if we have a bad outcome, we can talk about it in a controlled environment. Oh, I can't breathe. <coughs> and what we think that'll translate into is a safer place uh, for patients to be. And we'll make your hospital a safe place. The hospital has a total of four of those sim men, including a child and a baby. The new simulation center cost over $2 million to put together.